Morning guys, we're uh, I'm doing a a bucket set here for Fisher. Now I know I've seen lots of uh, these you know 20 liter pail or four gallon pail sets on YouTube, and I've never tried them before because I just don't think this uh, this plastic will hold up to 40 below. You know, although there's a lot of people that are using them, so maybe it does, but I don't trust it to. So I've made a couple slight variations on the set for myself. And I'll explain them to you. But there's like I, you know, I say on a lot of the videos, you know, when you get some information, there's no such thing as a perfect set. There's only a perfect set for you. Now, everybody's situation is a little bit different. So, you know, you take all this information and then adjust it to, uh, you know, whatever works best for you, whatever your situation is. And like I said, for me, I didn't think that these pails would, you know, handle a 220 spring sitting right here and then going off without smashing this thing to pieces. Now, like I said, I may be wrong, but having done that, I've, I've made a... A slight variation in the set but here's what I did now I drilled four holes across each of the sides of it to put sticks in to hold the bait so you just tip it upside down like it's gonna be set like this and that bait stays right in there no matter what and here I made the, the hole for the nail to hang it off of and it goes right down to the the base so that it's you know strong enough that it won't tear do whatever it needs to do now I'm going to show you I've got the nail put in on the tree already so the nail goes into the hole right there at the bottom and then just slides down and locks in place like so okay see it's it's on there pretty strong now I've got a trap holder and I mark a spot where I want that trap to sit now I'm going to have that 220 sit right here so that when it springs the trap will close and the springs won't actually touch that part of the pail right there. So there's no worry about it breaking. Okay, so now I've got it marked there where I want it. Okay, so now I'll take this off so that I can hammer. without interference and I will set this down now these trap holders here are quite nice they're very stable I like them a lot I've got some other ones that are they're awful stable too the only problem with those ones is the trap gets squeezed on they're so tight It's um, just harder for the trap to spring. So now there's my mark. Bring that thing up level. Now I know a lot of guys use these uh, bucket sets on the ground, you know, which is great if you can do that. But I know you've, I've told you several times before, I can't leave any Martin or Fisher on the ground or anywhere where squirrels or mice can get at them because they will absolutely just destroy my fur, the mice and the squirrels. Okay, so now, and I'll get this trap on here and then I'll show you. OK, 
Okay, so now you see that trap squeezes right onto those little grooves, just like so. Now, this pail comes up, you put it in that nail in the nail slot, and let it down. And it fits right over that trap, just like so. Okay, so now that trap is going to spring. It is not going to hit the pail, which, like I said, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it does, but I'm not going to take a chance. And then trap will fall down, and critter will be swinging from the the rafter there. Now all I got to do is add a, a leaning pole. A running pole from here up to a like right there and that way it'll help the martins this time of year or fisher you know maybe they don't have to climb they don't have to work so hard maybe they'll go up the pole right now before they're actually really hungry so I'm gonna go cut myself a, a pole and also I'm gonna put a little bit of boughs in here to kind of hide things a little bit hide that trigger so they, they work their way through there without trying to get around the trigger. Okay, and I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so here we got our finished set. The running pole. Easy for them to get up. Room for them to stand right here and still get into the trigger. And you see all the sp little spruce boughs? And it blocks the trigger, makes them force their way through there a little bit and they'll have a better chance of springing it and getting a good catch and instead of getting all the way through there and then standing on the trigger and getting a back end to catch. Alrighty. Like I said, I'm by no means an expert at putting these things out since it's the first year I've ever tried them. But I think this the way I've got it set up here will work well for me without the pails breaking to pieces. Alright, and now of course the last touch is a piece of flagging tape on the trail for whenever I put a new set out. Put a piece of flagging tape here to mark it so that I, I don't drive by it accidentally and then go oh, crap and have to come back and and to get it again. Alrighty.